Who are you? I am Tyrant Overlord Kalidia, the one who leaves destruction in his wake. Tyrant Overlord Kalidia? Kalia, don't you recognize us, Blip? Crap! What's going on? What happened, bro? I bet you got blown away. Don't bring up unnecessary topics. Be careful. Disappear. Huh? Run, little Usa! Usalia, this place is dangerous. Let's fall back for now. You're not getting away. Whoa! Close to him. That isn't Kilia. Die. We die together, Sir Kilia. Kilia. Sir Kilia? Sir Kilia! Episode 13. The two Kilias. So, how is Bro doing? He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his condition has improved, Blip. But what should we do when he regains consciousness? If he goes crazy again, what's going to happen to us? <laughs> Don't worry, little Sisto. If that happens, I'll stop him! And this time, I'll SUPER BE THE CHAMP! You don't have to be excessively concerned. Sir Kilia will be alright. Probably. Sir Kilia! Y you are Kilia, right? Forgive me. I... Ah, don't worry about it. It was pretty entertaining. I'm glad he's back to being Kilia. I was wondering what was going to happen. Sir Kilia, can you explain what happened? Since it happened, there's no point in hiding it anymore. There's something vicious inside of me that I can't even control. It's the destructive impulse from when I was called the Tyrant Overlord. Destructive impulse? Yeah. It's a strong desire to destroy everything. Until now, I've been forcing myself to suppress it. Every day, even when I'm sleeping. And even now. But, I'm at my limit. Is that why you're eating all the time? Because it helps you suppress your destructive impulse? This thing eats a lot. It takes an extravagant amount of calories to suppress it. But I can't use these cheap tricks to suppress it anymore. The next time it takes over, I won't. That's not like you. It's not like you to make such a weak excuse. 
Right, everyone? I concur. You are the leader of the rebel army, Kilia. We need you to be strong. If there is anything we can do for you, please tell us. Th that is an order. Huh. If you can't control yourself, don't worry. I'll stop you. Even a child like Usalia was able to overcome a challenge, Click. You'll be fine, Kilia. You will definitely overcome this, Click. You guys, I'm sorry. I'll make sure to withstand this somehow. That's the spirit! Way to go, bro! I'll hold it back. At least until I defeat Void and get my revenge. Well, cheat shop minimum became 30. Netherworld exterior, Degal parts. Uh, Treasure and Dragons has been added. Prideful King has been added. Manager was born. Hey, and we got an event. So let's hit the hit up the event first. Actually, you know what? We're here. Let's do the cheat James shop. The so because I have so much freaking money and all of my equipment is like perfect, let's uh, let's let's just keep putting points into experience. And there we go. Kalia, I was able to make curry all by myself for the first time, Plip. I want curry, uh, curry. -a. I want Kilia to have the very first plate since you taught me how to make it, Plip. I see. Then I'll gladly accept it. Ugh. Th this is. Ugh. Do you not like it, Plip? Don't blame yourself, Usalia. This was your first time cooking, right? Yeah. No matter how disgusting it is, it's got to be super better than Sarah's dark cooking. Ugh. If you don't like my dark cooking, would you prefer to eat lead instead? Usalia, this isn't the curry I taught you. I know I shouldn't have prepared it myself, Plip. No, it's not that. It's You're a little rough on the spices and the way you cut the ingredients, but it has a really nice flavor to it. This is the closest to the ultimate curry flavor I've been eating. Longing for for over the past several decades. Ultimate flavor? Sir Kilio, what about your revenge? Hmm. <laughs> There's nothing more for me to teach you. From now on, polish your skills by yourself. I want you to aim higher. Okay, Usalia make the ultimate flavor, Plip. It's a completely different story now. <laughs> Cooking manga! Curly, <laughs> Curly is the true form of Kilia. <laughs> Curly of the demon stooge. <laughs> Curly is, is who spawns, uh, is what spawns if he eats too many calories. <laughs> oh, good game, chat. Good game. That is some. That is some pro punnage there. Okay, so what else we got? To do. Oh, I want to go check the new quest. One of them might actually give me the uh, the money levels. Let me check. Uh, accept quest. Serious practice? Nope. Maybe it's towards the top, actually. Character joined Brave. Oh, it's the bear. You saved my netherworld, Fortress of Gaul. It's not much, but I'd like to offer my help to you. So we can get Brave. Alright, let's pick that one up. Treasure and Dragons. Oh, we want to, we want to test you to see if you're worthy of our help. We seek a treasure that contains superb power. If you guys possess that power, we'll accept you. Twin Dragon Representative Zex Neos. Or rare or better. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay, what else we got? Uh, these are just stats. If you can get above 2 million stats, you get a bunch of, like, training stuff. What's this one? Damage. Million. Can't. Haven't done that. You also get Judgment Cross, which does crazy damage. Okay, anything else particularly useful here? The answer looks to be... No, nothing I'm interested in. Well, we can get uh, Twin Dragons at the very least. Okay, uh, can I just... any of these? Really? Wow, that makes it easy. So we can now recruit dragons! Yeah! So let's go get Brave first. Oh wait, no, we're gonna trigger a cutscene first. I forgot about that one. Where would you like to go, dude? Are you not feeling well, Plip? Don't get ahead of yourself, bro. We can take care of the magical spear by ourselves. I'm all right. If I have to rest here, then I'll never be able to defeat Void Dark. You guys worry too much. 
Kilia won't go down that easily. So, where is the next magical spear that we need to destroy? It's in a netherworld that's a little far from here. It's called Flowerful. Flowerful? Why is it in such a remote netherworld? If he wants to absorb energy, then he should pick a bigger netherworld. I wonder what he's up to. Flowerful. What's up, bro? Do you know that netherworld? Yeah. That's where Goldion's house is. It was Lise and Void's home. All right. Wait, really? We're going to flower. Oh, wait. First and foremost, we're going to Fortress de Gaulle, of course. Heroes who saved my netherworld, thank you for coming. I couldn't believe it, it when I saw the quest, but you really did survive. Yes, I miraculously survived. It's all thanks to you guys. If you hadn't stopped the Lost, I wouldn't be here right now. As a proud overlord, since you saved my life, I want to devote it to helping you. Then you'll become our ally. Correct, but only under one condition. I know you guys are all superb, and I want to know how strong you guys are. May I test your strength? If we can help get the help of an overlord, I won't let this opportunity slip away. Thank you. Let's go. All right. Uh, yeah, Kilia, you go. can probably murder most of these guys on your own. Eh, but let's let's end up the party. Free experience and whatnot. Usalia needs some great. levels. Does she have anything? Nope. Kilia does, though. Supreme Curry. Might as well get the boost early. Uh, who needs the, the experience here? I'm actually keeping them fairly even, which feels pretty good. Uh, let's see. Moaxes. Death Santa. Vi. I guess let's just send everybody out. It'll be fast enough. We'll level these guys anyway. Only 125. That's not so bad. Send in Grand Slam Man. You guys really, really are getting ahead of yourselves here. He ain't showing up until the very, very end. I And I'm sticking to it. You guys, I'm not going to let you guys get greedy on me. We're not doing that. No matter how much you guys demand it. Let's Probably go. should have actually done some boost there, but nah, not gonna deal with it. Also, I you okay? I would uh, I would distinctly you. point out that uh, I don't think Grand Slam Man's in our army so much as he's just with us out of his sheer convenience. I don't think he's indicative of our yeah. forces. My other side. Goddess of Orc. I'm gonna skip past that one. Wow, that actually- they're actually hurting me. <laughs> what a great image. Yeah. Oh, they actually took out- they actually killed Zorokin. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. Have I just never used that move before? He's just going to stay in the back for a little bit. Punishment time. Fuck. All right, fine. That's how it is. Fuck you guys. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Hi, dude. Wow, dude. Impossible, dude. Wait, did he just he just threw Grand Slam Man, didn't he? Yep, Grand Slam Man is dead. Red Magnus threw him. I'm just gonna skip past this. Wow, everybody died. Alright, well, that's different. Okay, let's uh, go back to the title screen. <laughs> they killed everybody. Uh, so unfortunately, my party is so, so strong that uh, if given the chance to kill each other, 
Netherworld effect bombing run triggers random explosions. No. No. Oh, shoot. Well, okay, fine. I can just skip past uh, cutscenes and stuff. Where are they? There they are. But, uh... It's I don't think... Shot. I don't think the Fortress de Gaulle effect instantly murders Prinnies. I think the, uh, the Charmed Red Magnus uh, chucked Grand Slam Man as an attack. Here. Fine. You you guys have it your you way. Go, dude? Grand Slam Man was level 1 when you sent him in. He had little to no HP. Have you looked at Grand... No. We gotta go get the quest, come to think of it. Otherwise, this, this isn't gonna work. Okay. There. Uh, let's see. Accept quests. We want Prideful King. And Treasure and Dragons. Okay. Uh, let's just turn this one in. Review quest. Treasure and Dragons. Conclude quest. Manual. Common Orb. Thank you. Okay. Fine. Seeing as they're going to play incredibly dirty with those ch those charm attacks, let's do it. Grand Slam Man needs to do stuff. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gaze upon death. Is he gonna reach? Yes. Awesome. If only you could see how much uh, damage he had. Uh, or can see that. Okay, so for frame of reference, Grand Slam Man started with uh, 12,000 HP. He's gone up to 40,000. His stats are all in the tens of thousands. That is, you know, five... Oh, really? It does trigger random explosions. Well, okay, fine. I guess that'll, go. uh, that'll have to be good enough. Uh, apparently the... Uh, Apparently, the the level just automatically blows up Grand Slam Man. <laughs> well, he blew the shit out of one group of people, and then the Netherworld killed him. I guess Grand Slam Man is not uh, strong enough to defeat a Netherworld on his own. Okay, fine. Still, uh, charm attacks aren't going to work on him, which is good enough. Let's just use Kilia for the time being. You can't, uh, charm attacks are kind of meaningless against a uh, single character. So I think we're okay in that manner. Let's just skip past some of these. Hopefully he lives past some of this. This is such a cool attack. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though. Yeah, he might not, he might not live through this. How much HP do you have? Not enough. Uh, can't, oh wait, he can move. He just can't. Okay, so in that case, let's come over here. Let's attack this guy. We've we've already killed the orc, so we can bring out the cavalry. Salia, yeah. please tell me you can cast what I think you can cast. Critical meteor. Yes. Okay. Uh, Death Santa, you're I'm next. I don't know if you're going to be able to cast it far enough. Unfortunately, Killy is kind of injured here, and we have not. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Huh. This is the coolest move. Like it's even better than the uh it's even better than than freaking Red Magnus just hammer smashing people. Critical Meteor. And of course she gets to have curry at the end. But yes, I didn't actually know that uh that Prinnies could get messed up by environmental effects like that. I will keep that in mind for the future. Well, all right, this worked out fairly well. Uh, let's see what else I can do. I'm not an angel. <laughs> Keep saying that, Chuckles. All right, uh, let's just send everybody out regular now. Neil. Now that we've taken out the orcs, the orcs were the problem because yeah. uh, earlier what happened is um, huh. is uh, orcs charmed my entire party and my entire so party killed good. itself. It was a lot of damage. Now we're okay. Right there. <laughs> what a special attack. No. Goddamn just shoots guns out of his belly. Is Grand Slam Man the leader of the Prinny Squad? No, he's the entire he's the leader of the interrogation squad. No. We might actually still lose some people here. 
These guys do not mess around damage-wise. That is some damage. Uh, we... I don't actually think we lost anybody there. Good! Okay, let's move... Let's move... Usalia back. Let's see. Giga Heal. We don't have Giga Heal. We got Mega Heal, though. Which will have to be good enough for the situation. And it is. Everybody goes back up to full health. Beautiful. How many levels does she get from that? Not actually nearly as many as you'd think she would. Alright, Braveheart. Oh, wait. That's actually gonna... It's actually going to boost some dudes we don't want to boost. Alternatively, we do it because we'll murder him in seconds anyway. Okay, so first and foremost, let's put Red Magnus here. Let's move Kilio away. He can't do anything yet, but that'll be fine. Let's let Red Magnus do his thing. Okay, so we've got we've triggered some uh, we've triggered some revenge modes. Perfect, malicious eye. Hell yeah. And then Giga Star, Mega Star, Mega Star. Not a whole lot of damage. I really need to work on uh, boosting up uh, Crystal a little bit more too. Unfortunately, my characters have this kind of. Oh, come on. My characters are sadly uneven. Stat-wise. <laughs> Gotta work on that one. Oh well, power. they'll get there, I guess. Is that enough damage? <laughs> Still not enough! What is it? How much HP does this guy have? Plenty. Okay, uh, who's the lowest level in the group? I guess we might as well finish. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna use... We're gonna use multi-attacker on Vi. All right, See if we can do some extra damage with Vi along the way. Awesome. Uh, it's easier for me to get experience as, uh, as, as Potato than Vi, along the way. And now she'll soak some hits. Maybe. Oh, except for the whole bombing thing. Immovable Nova. Oh, it's a defensive move. I was wondering about that. Well, uh, guess I'm just gonna giant press Brave, which... Oh, shit. Is that not going to do damage to him? What's that ability do? Overload. Nullify all attacks for three turns, but unable to move. Interesting. Okay. So in that case, Red Magnus can't do anything. I guess let's just stare at the Overlord for a little while. So he becomes kind of this nice little bastion -y type character, but he can't do anything else as a result of it. Hmm. Neat. Okay. Well... I guess we just end some turns. He's probably going to be shooting at me since he has ranged attacks, but, like, that's the best he can do. Uh, magic boost? Sure. Close enough. Let's just end turn. Let's just wait. Kilia will heal up. Oh, he can't even do anything. So, yeah, let's just wait until his overload runs out. And then we'll be okay. And we'll just keep healing with, uh... I'll just keep healing with... Death Santa, because we need it anyway. Or she needs the experience, just because. Yeah. What's she now? 78. Yeah. Okay, we're fi we're finally getting Death Santa the experience she needs. Hyper suction. <laughs> I forget that he has a uh, mouth in his back too. The bears are such a weird entity in this game. I think he also has a unique voice actor as the Overlord, which is kind of bizarre. Okay. Let's see. So, how much HP do you have? Lots. Okay. So if he has that much HP. Let's teamwork this one. Right there. Teamwork as hard as we can. I'll heal whomever I can't teamwork properly. Okay. Oh, can't throw him any higher. Okay, that's interesting. Not exactly that big of a problem, but still. And let's make sure to Braveheart him. Just for the extra damage, we might be able to take him out in one go. Hard to tell, though. And Mega Heal. Oh, wow, that is really expensive SP-wise. Then again, she doesn't have a whole lot. Okay. You okay? Let me 
It's another thirty percent attack power. That might actually boost enough that we can kill him right out. Is that enough? No, it wasn't. He is one tough sucker. All right, well, good for him. And hyper suction again. Not exactly the most useful thing. And do we get into a counter loop? Yep. Okay, that kills him. As the overlord of Virtus de Gaul, I, brave, shall dedicate my life to you guys. Thank you very much. Oh yes, I have to tell the citizens of Fortress de Gaulle what's going to happen. I'll head over after I'm done. You should go report to the quest shop. Yes, understood. We'll be waiting. And back to plot stuff. There's a little diversion. Hard little diversion. I was actually surprised at uh, the, the fact that I actually had trouble there. Wow, that's good. I was worried that I had uh, nerfed the game so it wasn't interesting anymore. Let's We've managed to uh, sidestep that one pretty successfully. Good. Okay, review quest, Prideful King. And then we will never use him. At some point I will probably do like a, a, a level or like a run through with all of the like overlords that I've recruited along the way. But we'll do that later. Okay, dimension guide. Where would you like to go, dude? Oh, yeah. Free Usa's Prinnies so we can see if her moves are different without it. See if I have enough mana. Happy. Uh, Usalia. Let's see, let the pretty rest. Ooh, okay. I don't know. We we might we should be able to do this. Yeah, we definitely can. Let's see. Leaning no. What do you want? Symbols. What the hell is a symbol? Is this a symbol? Oh God, no. Screw you. <laughs> Drunk. Also leaning no. Axes. Alright, so attacks on Titan, deadly anchors. Oh, they're drunk, they don't understand. Oh, they like you less. Oh, what likes axes? Okay, let's just not deal with him. You're asleep. You're in favor of. Okay, let's give up on bribery. Hey. Bribery. Took like 10 episodes for this to happen. Thank you for coming, Flynn. Yeah, this is true. Okay, so you know what? Let's oh. let's switch things around, seeing as we've got this. Call assembly, Usalia. Uh, change controllable character, Usalia. Confirm. Guess we're just gonna control Usalia for a while. It works. That's fun. Let's see. Buy, like, 50 of each item to bribe. Yeah, I actually get, like, a ton of free items just by going to the item world. Where would you like so to it's go, not, dude? like, a high priority for me, ultimately. Okay, to Flowerful. I did heal, right? I better did. I I, I better have. Better did. Heh. <laughs> English. This is Flowerful, Blip? It's so beautiful. It doesn't look like anyone's trampled through here. Maybe the information about the magical spear landing here was wrong. We'll see. Since this is such a backwater netherworld, maybe they couldn't find anyone to threaten or subjugate. You look wistful, Sir Kilia. I haven't been here since I left Goldion's side. I didn't think I was ever going to step foot in this place again. Sir Kilia. Enough talk. If you drag behind, I'm gonna leave you. Kilia, looks like he's impatient, Plip. His family's netherworld might be destroyed. He probably can't bear to stand still, not even for a super millisecond. It's not just that. His destructive impulse is probably eating away at him as we speak. He acts like nothing's wrong with him, but I can sense the agony in his eyes. You know him well, Seraphina Sis. No wonder you have such a big crush on him. Uh, I have a big crush? Don't be absurd! Sir Kilia is simply my servant. It's a master's duty to take care of their servant's condition, is it not? No, it's quite the opposite. Normally the servant is supposed to look after their master. Silence! Wait, stop! 
I'm sorry. Hey, stop playing around. Let's go after Kilia. If we don't hurry, we're gonna lose him. Yes, but it's Kilia's challenge this time. We have to support him. Uh, let's see. Gale Force Winds is active. Decrease wind resistance by 50%. Alright. Me too! Oh. Yes! So apparently letting the pretty rest only works in the uh, netherworld. Good to know. Well, let's uh, mess people up, I guess. Let's see, let's focus on uh, let's go. focus on the casters. Might as well. Oh, let's see. Special Mega Wind. G Do you not have Giga Wind? You know what? Let's sort your skills. This is getting silly. Uh, that's probably for the best. Okay, special. Giga, 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 giga win. There we go. Might still not be enough. Might have to send out Potato for the final strike. Yeah, let's let's focus on the casters. They need they need some experience. Uh, the melee characters are definitely overpowered. I mean, Kilia, uh, Seraphina could probably use some experience. Uh, but like Kilia and Red Magnus, I don't think they need a whole lot of help. Gonna be totally honest here. Yeah, she's she's okay. She's getting there. But like Christo, for example. Christo could do, use some work. Right there. Can you do... We well, could do Curry Break. Nope, Curry Break is not a good move. Uh, do you really not have a booster skill? Okay, so in that case... Let's do Special Booster. Mind, mind Boost. Magic Boost, there we go. Ah, oh, damn, can't cast him in a square. I guess we'll have to cast him multiple times. That's not the end of the world. Probably should have cast it first instead of after casting all of these Giga Wins, but eh, whatever. Not a big deal. But yeah, because they're all in the same skill squad, they're actually all just passing ranks to each other's spells at the same time, which is incredibly useful. I'm not entirely sure how it works, though. I'll have to take a look at it at some point. It's such an obnoxious voice actor, though. Ooh, ow. These things hurt. <laughs> they might actually kill me. Nope, they're not gonna kill me. They, they hurt though. So we gotta be careful. Uh, that said, I'd rather I'd rather this than have like an, an overwhelmingly actually you know what wrong character. I'd rather have this than a particularly easy fight. So why don't we have her do that? You can you can do a mega heal in, in a square, right? And Seraphina should be able to survive at least one more. Okay. So yeah, now we've got, now we've got the, yep. The, you guys are correct. Death Santa does have the really obnoxious voice out over. Okay, Battle Orchestra. Haven't heard of that one before. And Potato, seeing as you have nothing better to do. Giga Wind, please kill this guy. Thank you. Yeah, because my casters need just a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, help. Clearly I need to work on this a little bit more. On my own. I, I definitely neglect them a little bit. More than I should. I'm kind of lazy with my... Uh, I mean, I'm lazy with my like healer types for whatever reason. A bad habit or something. Uh, I when it, Whenever I used to... I, I used to play the shit out of... Uh, let's see. I used to play the shit out of Fire Emblem. And it was great, but I never used the healers. It was such a bad habit. It was so dumb. I don't know why. Uh, but it's it's always been kind of like just my default to ignore uh, leveling up healers as much as I should. Let's see, skill squad. You can use non-unique skills of the leader. And level it from like 0 to 1. Yep, so they can learn the skill permanently. No, I know about that one. But uh, now I've got it so they actually just share skill experience. Which is actually really, really good. So you're... Both staying pretty even here. And again, what level is this guy? 116, so we're not actually that far behind. I'm just... Yeah, alright. Oh, hey, you got it. You got Giga Heal, finally. Good. Now you've got something called Battle Orchestra. I want to know what that one looks like. Battle Orchestra. To tell the truth, the neighbors are complaining. I gotta see how this, this one works. It sounds fun. And he doesn't have anything that actually boosts here. That's a shame. I need I need to throw him into the group. 
uh, so you can actually learn some skills. Then again, I should probably just set Death Santa as, our, as the uh, primary leader, because at this point, I don't think I need Potato to do it anymore. And Potato has learned Gigastar and is now a sage. Yes. Maybe I'll wait on that one a little bit. At the very least, I need to add Christo to the group. And you just got a skill up. I guess I have no choice. Huh. I have no idea how all this group business works. That's a nice visual for attack. Unfortunately, it did not do nearly as much damage as I wanted it to, but still. Okay, that's gonna get really annoying real fast. Okay. Uh, let's move the group up. I need to, I need to, like, grind some heavy mana on these characters, just so they can, uh, let's see. Let's do Homing Eraser. I need to grind some hev not Homing Eraser, Shotgun Graft, there we go. Uh, just so I can actually have, like, maximum range on some of these moves. It'll probably make life a lot easier on me. Okay. Giga Wind, please reach, thank you. What's your resistance? Yeah. It's probably still better than most. So you might actually have some extra range on one of your spells, yes? Giga Wind. Yep, long enough range. Beautiful. And nobody's particularly injured here, but I might as well just do... Uh, Giga Heal. I couldn't do anything to him. I mean, he's mildly injured. It's not a complete waste. Yeah, cheat shop skill experience bonus does not affect uh, learning skills. Yep. I know that one. It sucks. I hate it. Actually, you know what? Yeah, what I should probably do is uh, do like an. Eh, we'll do it. We'll do it once we've actually beaten the campaign. Um, but like a skill experience run might not be a bad move. Uh, what's your highest level star? What about. What about Gigas? No. Will this reach? Oh, we'll reach. Okay. I'll take up Peggy Sue. Yeah! Okay. Hey, Gospel of Power Learn. I need I need to spend some more more time on these characters. Because like the melee guys do damage pretty much regardless of the level of their skill. Casters are much more much more um reliant on it from what I can tell. Okay. Ooh, looks like if we can get there, we've got some people lined up for a uh a, a critical meteor. If I'm lucky. That hurt. Then again, that's what uh, Potato, Death Santa, and Christo were for. Healers are nice. Okay, come on. Yes, we've got the we've got the movement speed. Where is Pinnacle Meteor? Doesn't do as much damage as I wanted it to, but then again, that doesn't surprise me too much. And you don't. You probably don't have anything. No, but we can keep casting Giga Wind over and over and over again. There we go. I really, I really like this skill training squad. I, penalty of death learned. We're learning a lot of skills here. I wonder why specifically now. I guess it's because I'm, I'm using these characters in a dedicated manner. Usually they get like what, handful of attacks off before Kilia and or Red Magnus just smash them into the ground. But yeah, the, the, the constant passing of skills is actually super useful. Uh, yeah, let's use Malicious Eye. I don't get to level up very often. Okay, anybody else? Got anything you can do? Yes, you do. Yeah, so here's the question. He just has Giga Heal. He's getting experience for it. I don't know if he's gaining experience for... Yeah, actually, it looks like he's evenly gaining Giga Fire, Giga Wind, and Giga Ice experience while we're just passively using them on the other characters. I think... I'll have to check that one. Yeah, they just got a skill up for him using Star. Damn. Might I? I should see if I can shove like Grand Slam Man into this group just just to see if we get the uh, just to see if he starts learning some skills. That'd be really useful. Okay. Battle Orchestra. We get to use it again. Yeah. It's a nice little visual. Oh, it's a cannon that they're standing in front of. I didn't really understand how the orchestra turned into a bullet. 
But no, they're just sitting beneath the, uh, just, they're just sitting beneath the cannon. That's how it's going on. Okay, I can work with that. Giga Wind. So here, here's the question. So Giga Wind, let's check Christo for a second. Status, specials. So your Giga Wind experience is 90. If we're lucky, he gains points in it. I could be wrong, though. So let me see. Status, specials, Giga Wind. Yeah, he, gain, he gains five every every single time. So you gain ten if he casts it himself, but five, uh... Nice. I dig it. That's a, that's a really fast way of uh, teaching characters new skills. So I will... I will keep that in mind for the future. And use and abuse it as hard as I can. Let's just Giga Heal you. You're just out of it. Whatever. You can do what you want. You have no reason why not to. Oh, uh, you can even be able to hit anything? Do homing eraser or just try bullet. There we go. We don't need we don't need to do a whole lot of damage. Awesome. You can just kinda dwell on them, get this get the skills up. Because yeah, the more times you use a skill actually, the uh the more experience you get with it. Or like the results of the skill don't match or don't matter. So like if I cast fire a bunch of times and only do five damage. I'm going to get more experience than if I cast fire once and did like 800 powers. damage. Keep using Mega Heal. Uh, let's. Oh, whoa, he's got Giga Heal on level 3. So that's actually probably better for him to use there. Okay. It's probably a good time for a magic boost, too. Which is pointless to use on Seraphina. So why bother? Let's just do it that way. And can I actually. Can I actually move you forward. There we go. Special Giga Heal Square. I don't even know if he's injured, but it seems worthwhile. Okay. Uh, no point in using her overload. Everybody's female on this map. And special. Oh, hey, squad attack. You okay? Well, I'll just finish it off for me. Especially because she does extra damage on. Um, Uh, that means she gets like an extra 5% damage per target in even in that move, I believe. That's that and Sage's multi-attacker. Uh or Magitang Twin Dragon. About all you can do. Oh! I didn't know Twin Dragons gave you a bonus. That's useful. Okay, skip the demo. No. Of course not. Help me! Please! Don't take my life! Then hurry up and spill it. Where is the magical spear? It's... I don't have time for this. Tell me! Kilia, please stop! I understand why you're impatient, but you're not acting like your usual calm self, Clip. Calm. I doubt that's the real me. Are you talking about your destructive impulse? That's the old Sir Kilia, not the Sir Kilia I know. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat. Kilia, he's in rougher shape than I thought. Yeah. He's probably under more pressure than we can possibly imagine. Is there anything we can do for him, Flip? It's a problem with his heart. Ultimately, Kilia himself has to overcome it by himself. All we can do now is quietly stay by his side and support him. Nothing more. <laughs> you really can change when you want to. I never expected to hear that coming from you, Sarah. Love changes a woman. Seraphina Sis has some girly aspects after all. Now, let's go. Hey, old man. You still alive? 
No, I'm dead. 